Hello, hello everybody, Henry from Fun Game Reviews here. Alright, alright guys, new update is officially here. Uh, this is Mr. Safrix getting his enlightenment this time around during this update. Alright, so let's check it out. Here's the beautiful Articuno from a Pokemon. Alright, so new features, a new icon, Lord Olympia Games. Arrives to the Clash, challenge the Lord Olympia, ascent, and summit when the countdown timer ends. As you guys may know, it is about 38 days to 40 days total. Uh, it started out in the Chinese servers when it was officially 40 days. So we'll see. It's not officially implemented just yet. So yeah, let's move on. Enlightenment unlocked for Safrix, as you guys can see, also known as Mr. Articuno. All right, all right. So let's go check out Lore Olympia Games. All right, you guys can see right here. On 10-29, you will officially get to enter the battle. As you guys can see, you guys will gain an entry every day to open a battle preparation chest. Okay, so we'll kind of see what kind of games this is. It kind of looks like this will be some sort of guild clash type uh, because, you know, battle square and everything is all cross server so this is another game that is also cross server so let's go kind of check it out uh and then uh, let's go ahead and move on optimizations new items in uh, the battle mall so we're gonna go check out what's in there for battle mall all right battle mall as you guys can see i mean this kind of started uh, about uh, four or five days ago, normally it lasts 14 days for every season. Uh, so these are the key items uh, that you could be farming. I personally am saving uh, and not purchasing these items because I'm waiting for Guild United. Uh, I have a pretty good feeling Guild United will be coming around. So as you guys can see, they have... Uh, a decent amount of D-Genie shards everywhere for you. Uh, they also have Wontons, uh, Grey Sage, Demon Slayer. Uh, so those are the current shards that you can obtain. So let's go check it out. The next one, Adjusted the Salvage Hero UI. So let's go kind of check out the Salvage Hero UI, okay? So this... Uh, it's kind of how it looked like before. Okay, this is kind of cool. Before, you kind of had to select all the heroes. It didn't show you how it looked like before. So, now you can actually kind of click them. So, that's kind of cool. And then equipment, they, they kind of made it look a little bit more cleaner with uh, the box layout. That box layout didn't was not there before. Uh, so, yeah. So that's uh, that's kind of a, a little optimization there. And then Wolven Fiend Iron Class Storm Rider can now be salvaged. All right, so if you guys go check it out here in uh, the Alchemy Workshop, you guys can see at the end here Storm Rider Wolven Fiend Iron Clad can uh, be um, created, but you got to get it to level 13. I'm going to admit to you guys, trying to level up the building again and again doesn't seem like it's really worth it. Because it is expensive, okay? It is truly ridiculously expensive. Uh, it takes a lot of powder. I mean, yes, I mean, it looks like, for me, it, it doesn't make sense for me to say that because I have 20,000 powder. But that 20,000 powder, I'd rather be using it on creating mutagen or like ancient spirits and stuff like that so shards can come in handy but at the same time it may not so that's totally up to you guys how you guys decide you guys want to deal with it all right next let's go check it out um new heroes and hero card shop landslide and enchantress so if you guys want to see the hero card shop, you click shop here, click hero card, 
And you can officially now purchase Landslide and Enchantresses. I know for those of you out there who consistently complain that Berserker and Enchantress is almost impossible to get uh, by doing like 10x hires because it's really, really low possibility. They officially added it to Hero Cards, but please keep in mind, guys, I only am speaking to those who are spending money. Pay to win players. You guys can go ahead and do this with the rings because you guys have an abundance of rings. For all you guys who are free to play, I really highly do not recommend buying anything in the Hero Card Shop. The Hero Card Shop, it just the, the resource requirement is too expensive. 12,000 rings, okay? Let me put it this way. To get your, your hero from level 1 to level 20 skill takes 40,000 rings. 40,000. So if you're spending 12,000 already just to get the hero, and think about it too, you're only getting one. You did not even get all the glories or none of that stuff for it. Okay? It's not worth it to buy it. So... I have never, ever bought anything from the Hero Car Shop. I've always done 10x hires all the way uh, to basically get those heroes, okay? All right, so next is a new stage has been added in Battle Royale. I have checked in numerous places. It is not yet available. As you guys can see, I have Battle Royale open right now. You guys will not be able to see the new stage until the reset on a Saturday. You got and the and the part of it too is you can't even click on it until you actually reach that stage. Like I know for a guarantee a lot of the the guilds and the Android English server like Immortal, Super Evolution, Brotherhood, everybody's going to be battling to reach the top. As you can see right now, guild progression-wise, it's Immortals, Brotherhood, Shadow Arts, Super Evolution. No one knows how to beat Battle Royale last stage, which is going to be the new one. Okay, We have no idea what the heroes' combinations will be yet. It's, it's going to be ridiculous. But for those of you guys who are all focusing on like battle royale teams to try to get yourselves to rank one position you know this is the time to really really check it out learn it we'll we'll kind of see i'm going to be trying to play out some strategies and stuff i'm really hoping my my guild gets there too uh but when we get there we'll be trying it out so we'll see i will try my best to learn some strategies get it from like my guildies we'll discuss we'll theory craft and so on and we'll we'll try to provide you guys a little bit of info on how we are going to be doing damage against those uh so yeah that's pretty much everything guys uh for for this update here i know it doesn't say anything about coliseum coliseum rewards guys you guys can see here is the Coliseum rewards from the update. So for, for those of you guys, make sure you guys are hitting that thumbs up. Hit that like, subscribe, and share, people. I really love all you guys. This is a great Clash of Lords 2 community. Everybody is supporting one another. Everybody's competing. It is great. I want to see all you guys out there in all the freaking servers. We will see you guys in the battlefields. Knob Heads is coming for you, okay, in Lord Olympia battles. So we'll definitely see you guys. We'll, we want to challenge you guys. We want to fight you guys. So we'll see you guys out there. So, yes, Coliseum Rewards, back at it. Uh, basically, I was thinking, oh, my God, they're going to give us a lot of Sapphire Shards. But they were smarter than that. They knew they were going to probably get yelled at in anger if... They gave like only Sapphire shards, so they put in Ravager shards instead. So regardless, this is an opportunity for everybody to get more Ancient Spirits. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys really enjoy. Thank you guys for watching Henry from Fun Game Reviews. I'm out. Have a great one, everybody. Much love.